Hi there, flat towers. Today we're going to be taking a look at E-Trailer's replacement clevis ends for the XHD E-Trailer tow bar. These clevis ends are used to attach to E-Trailer's crossbar for Roadmaster style base plates. They also can be used to attach to some of the Demco and Blue Ox base plates as well, but you just want to double check to see what is the most appropriate one to connect to those because it does vary from vehicle to vehicle. Now these are a very thick and heavy duty arm, so it's unlikely that you're gonna be using these and damage them and need a new replacement, where this actually comes in nice that they sell just the ends separately, as if you had uh, a previous vehicle that used a specific base plate that had a certain arm you needed to use, and then now you maybe purchased a new vehicle, and the new base plate requires this connection here. For an example, let's say you bought an e-trailer XHD tow bar for Roadmaster Direct Connect base plates. Well, those are gonna come with the ends here that are designed to attach directly to the Roadmaster Direct Connect. If your new vehicle though, you decided that you wanted a crossbar style base plate like this one here, you can still use your e-trailer XHD tow bar. You just need to get the end swapped out to the one that's going to attach to it. And that's what we've got here. This end, the clevis ends here does come with all the hardware that you need to get it installed. So you don't need to try to reuse any of those parts for your, your previous one. So example, if you had that direct connect one for the Roadmaster. You can save all that in a box in case you ever need to use it for the future, maybe five or six years down the road. If you change vehicles again and you need those, you can bust them back out again. In the kit, you're gonna get the attaching hardware, so you get your bolt and your nut to slide through, as well as the bushings that go in place so that way it can glide properly and not wear out the tow bar. You'll also get the connection pins here to secure it to the base plate. To ensure long-lasting operation of your clevis here, it does have a nice thick black powder coat finish on it to protect it against rust and corrosion. The e-trailer tow bars, they come with, uh, there's a lot of different kits of these e-trailer tow bars because they come with various ends for hooking to various manufacturers' base plates. We're going to be using a kit today that allows this tow bar to attach to a Roadmaster crossbar style base plate. So we're going to grab our ends that comes in the kit for attaching to this style. We can then take the bolt that comes in our kit here. We're gonna take the end that we're gonna attach and one of the bushings. We're gonna slide the bushing on the top here, take our bolt, go down through the center of both until it goes down through the arm. And then I like to turn it sideways like this. And then we can slide this in the side, get our bolt through the washer, and out the other side. We'll then secure that with a nylon locking nut. All this comes in the kit. We can then grab a 19 millimeter socket and wrench to snug these down. And we needed this to be able to pivot. We don't want it to be real sloppy and loose like this. We want the bushings to kind of have just a subtle drag on them. Still a little bit loose, we could probably get a little bit more out of it. And that feels pretty good right there. It's nice subtle drag, it's not real, uh, not real stiff, but it's not gonna flop around on you too much or anything like that and be making a bunch of noise. So we're gonna do the same thing for the other one to get that tab attached over there. All right, we got our ram pulled up here, our crossbar attached to it. So we can go ahead and attach to that. We're gonna lift up on the arm to take it out of the storage position, swing it over. We'll also lift up on the other one and swing it over. We're gonna be placing that arm on this side, this on this side. So we'll simply bring them down, line up the tab here, right in between the two lugs. We can then take the pin that comes included after lining them up. Just slide it through. We'll use the clip on the other side to retain it. Just slide that down and make sure the loop is all the way down to lock it in place. We'll do the same thing now on the other side to get that one attached. and then we can connect our safety cables. 
those will attach right here to the crossbar. And that completes our look at the replacement clevis ends for the e-trailer XHD tow bar.